Tick Tick seems to have two versions of subtasks. They've got checklists and they have subtasks. Now I think the way that came about was the checklists existed first and that was what Tick Tick used as subtask functionality. But along the way and along Tick Tick's evolution uh, and through customer feedback, I think they realized that checklist items really didn't give the full functionality of subtasks that their customers wanted. So they developed subtasks. And today we have both. We've got the checklists and we've got the subtasks. And sometimes that's a little bit confusing. Um, you know, when should I use subtasks and when should I use checklists? And how are they different? So in today's video, I'm gonna give a brief overview on checklists and subtasks, and then I'm gonna give three key differences between the two. Hello, I'm Joshua Best. All right, so to get started, I'm gonna create two new tasks in my inbox. Task one and task two. Uh, for task one, I'm going to give a brief overview on the functionality of the checklist. So to begin with, let's create a checklist on task one. Over on the right side in the description, in the upper right there's an icon that allows you to add a checklist to the description. So if I click that, I can enter these checklist items now. And I'll just enter checklist item one, checklist item two, checklist item three. Uh, let's delete the last one. Okay, so from here, what functionality do I have besides just listing them out here? Well, I can drag, I can click this left icon and drag it to rearrange these checklist items. The other thing I can do is I can hit this alarm clock over towards the right side and I can set a reminder. Now, this functionality is for premium versions only. So if you're on the free version, you can't use this reminders functionality. But if you do have the premium version, you can uh, set the reminder to today, tomorrow, next week, similar to a regular task. You can also set the time if you want to. And then you'll see it show up like this. Now the only other piece of functionality that exists within the checklist items is the trash can. On the far right side, you can click the trash can and that will delete the checklist item. All right, let me add uh, that checklist item two back. So what you'll notice here is that there's no capability to add any sort of priority to the checklist item. You can't add any um, tags, any further description, anything like that. It's literally just uh, the item name itself and you can add a reminder. All right, next let's take a look at subtasks. So I'm going to go down to task number two and create some subtasks. Now subtasks are generally maintained within this main task panel, not over on the right description panel like the checklists were. And you can create subtasks a number of different ways and I have a different video uh, that describes the different ways that you can create subtasks. But one way is just to right click on the task and click add subtask. And now I'm adding subtasks underneath task two. So subtask one, subtask two, subtask three. Okay, so now I have three subtasks underneath task two. You can see that they're slightly un indented underneath task number two. And these are treated as a standalone task really. So I can set uh, due dates on these tasks. And this is available for the free version as well as the premium version. So I can set uh, subtask to uh, due tomorrow. I can also set priorities on these. I can set this as a medium priority. I can add more description uh, under this subtask. You know, I can even give this subtask a checklist by clicking that checklist icon over here. So this the changes the description to a checklist and I can change this to checklist item one, checklist item two. Uh, so right away, you're gonna see that there's a lot more functionality with the subtasks than there is the checklist. Uh, you can also add comments to the subtasks. That's something that you can't do with the checklist.
And if I go up to the main task, task two, you can also see that the subtasks are listed under the main task here, underneath the description. And from there, you can also add subtasks if you want. All right, so that's kind of a brief overview of both the checklists and the subtasks. So let's talk a little bit about how they're the same and how they're a little bit different. So the number one way in which they're different is that the subtasks are standalone tasks and you can do all the things that you can do with a regular task. You can set priorities, you can add comments, you can add descriptions, you can even add checklists into the subtasks. With the checklists, you don't really get any of that functionality you can rearrange the checklists, you can set reminders if you're a premium member, and you can delete them. Uh, so that's the biggest way in which subtasks are different than checklists. All right, the number two way that they're different. The checklists count towards the task completion. So what I'm talking about is as we check and uncheck these checklist items, it counts towards the task completion. So right now with all of the checklist items unchecked, you can see that my task completion for task one is pretty much zero. It, I don't think it tells me that, and I don't see any icon over here. But as I check these checklist items, I'm going up to 33%. And I now see that my, my task one has a little bit of an icon over here, a little bit of a pie chart that shows me uh, this item is 33% complete. If I click checklist item two, well, now I'm 66% complete or 67% or complete. And let me just go ahead and click the last checklist item. You'll notice that task one is now completed. So if I complete all of my checklist items underneath the main task, it counts that main task as completed. Now you'll see that that's different than how the subtasks behave. Let me go over to task two and let me start checking the subtasks. So subtask one, you'll see no difference show up for task two. I don't see any sort of progress bar. I don't see any sort of icon over here. If I just go ahead and continue to, to check the subtasks off, you'll notice that if I check them all off, my task number two, the main task, still exists. It's still not completed. It's still marked as unfinished. So that's another big way in which subtasks differ from checklists. The third way that uh, subtasks and checklists are different is in the way that they show up on the today and next seven days view. So what I've done is I've added back some subtasks to task two, and I marked subtask five with a due date of today. And I've also added task one back, and I marked checklist item one with a reminder of today. So now let me go to the today view and we'll see how both of these items look. So one thing you'll notice is that they both show up with their description. So checklist item one shows up as checklist item one, subtask five shows up as subtask five. You'll also notice that the main task is not identified anywhere in this main task panel here. We see that they're both in the inbox. We see that they're both due today, but we don't see a main task identified here. All right, so let me click on checklist item one what you'll notice is that the main task, task one, actually populates the description panel. So here we're seeing task one, which is the main task, and we're seeing all of the other checklist items along with checklist item one. We're seeing the entire checklist populated over here on the right side. All right, so let's take a look at how the subtask uh, looks when we click on it. So if I click on subtask five, You'll notice that subtask five actually populates this description panel. Again, since subtasks are standalone tasks, I'm looking at subtask five and I can change it. I can add priority. I can add description. I can add tags to the subtask. The other thing that you'll notice is that the main task is identified right above the task name. So above subtask five, you'll see task two and it is a link so i can click task two and it will take me to task two which will show me all of the details for task two 
uh, along with all of the subtasks uh, that belong to task two. Now, if I want to go back to subtask five, I can click this arrow on the far right. It takes me back to subtask five. All right, so that's the third way in which uh, subtasks are a little bit different than checklist items. Well, that's it for this video. Hopefully you understand just a little bit better the differences between checklists and subtasks. I've gone over three key differences along with overviews of both the checklists and the subtasks. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.